Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ron Carr, and welcome to my event center. How many of you guys have been here before? Raise your hands. Okay, so about 20 of you. Now's the time that all of you can go to the bathroom or take a nap. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the event center. Uh, for years in town, I was a singer uh, on the Las Vegas Strip. I sang at the Flamingo Hilton, the Las Vegas Hilton, and then I ended my long career, 14 years, at the Tropicana Hotel in the world-famous Fouli Berger. Thank you. Uh, I retired some uh, back in 1999, and I opened the world-famous Viva Las Vegas Wedding Chapel, where I dress up as Elvis all day long, right there, and marry people. And then I come over here and I'm the master of ceremonies for all the shows that take place here at the event center. Originally the event center we opened up about a year ago now. Uh, if you guys have not seen this room prior to what it was before, it was an old broken down warehouse that had not been used for anything other than the movie Casino with Sharon Stone. That's what the room looked like. And this is what it looks like now. So I've spent the last a couple of years of my life in this room and it's really nice to see a lot of people in here. Um, so we opened up with a banquet facility license, and we could do weddings, bar mitzvahs, you know, birthdays, all those kind of things, anniversaries. And so if any of you have anything like that that you would like to plan here, please talk to myself or Kim. We'll be happy to help you. We'll give you guys some brochures in regards to those kind of private events. But we went over the top, and we got every other license available. We got a nightclub license, a limited tavern license, a showroom license, so that's how all of you fit in. So we can do any kind of public ticketed event. So tonight, you guys are in for such a treat with Mr. Roy Hamilton, Jr. Yes. I've been able to see this gentleman perform for the last couple, three months while we've been open. He performed with Lisa Gay and Tony Drake. Tony Drake is featured behind me on the, in the orchestra tonight under the direction of Mr. Woody Woods. And uh, Lisa Gay will be singing in the show also. Um, Anyways, we do all kinds of great events. One of the ones that I was really proud of that we did, uh, have been doing every first Friday of the month, it's Big Band, is back. We, brought, we found these guys that performed in Sammy Davis Jr., Frank Sinatra, they perform in a, a well, I call it a barn, but it's a garage, out of a Warm Springs and Eastern. I went out to see these guys play, and they were truly amazing. So I said, guys, would you like to dress up in a, um, in a tuxedo and come and do a show for us? And this is what we filmed. Now, we don't have any sound, but I do have a big band behind me. Woody, go. Big band is back. So if you can imagine. So on Friday nights, we were doing Big Band is Back. People we took out all the tables out in front. Dan Delgado from Dancing with the Stars comes and teaches people how to dance. And that was what we were doing on Friday nights. Now we've moved Big Band to Saturday afternoons from 1 to 4. Woody, uh, right behind me, is going to be in the Big Band tomorrow. Woody Woods Orchestra will be right here from 1 to 4. So every Saturday afternoon we have Big Band. So if you're not doing anything, please come out to the event center and uh, see the Big Bands. Every Sunday here we have Swingin' Sundays. It's our version of live jazz, rhythm and blues and more. Um, I tell you, last weekend we had 40, 40 to 50 different singers from the Las Vegas Strip come down and perform with our live band. It's truly an, a great night. It's an early evening on Sundays, uh, 5 to 8, and we once again serve our similar menu that you guys have here tonight. We're doing a southern fill because Michael Grimm is in residence with us. He is our resident artist. If you're not familiar with Michael Grimm, since I'm talking about him, you can go ahead and put him on the screen. He uh, it hails from Mississippi. He was the winner of season 5, America's Got Talent and he's truly amazing. Uh, we've had him for three concerts now and we have about seven more throughout the summer. So if you have never seen Michael Grimm, uh, he's coming out with a new album too. It's going to be a little bit funkier and more techno. So he's going to do all of his old school stuff right here in the event center. And that's kind of what we're about. We're trying to bring back vintage Vegas, uh, bring back uh, you know entertainment that used to be in the old lounges with uh, Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin. So the only way that, that this can work, though, is, is with you guys buy tickets. Buy tickets and eat food and drink. Because if we don't have a casino here, there's no other way to keep this kind of talent going. So please uh, look at our website, the Las Vegas Event Center, and see all the different things we've got going. Check out the Neon and the RJ. 
and uh, you can buy tickets that way. Uh, who am I forgetting? I know I've got a couple other things. Kelly, uh, sorry, Fain, Bill Fain is Clint Holmes' musical director. He's uh, here on Saturday night. He knows everybody and their brother from Broadway. He fills the house with a bunch of Broadway singers. He does an amazing show. He's doing a um, really cool show this week with Tara Polsha. Uh, she is leaving for New York. She's been featured in Vegas, the show. She's a beautiful redhead and kind of like Ann Margaret and sings and dances and she's doing a great job for us on Saturday night. Then we have Kelly Clinton, who is Clint Holmes' wife. She is like um, Carol Burnett. She's truly an amazing singer and uh, actress and comedian. She will be here on the 25th of July. Then uh, one thing I'm really fond of is, is uh, Golden Rainbow. It's an organization here in town that raises money for persons with AIDS. I was involved in it for 28 years. In fact, all the show kids in town, when I was in show business, uh, you know, went out and performed, put together shows and raised money for uh, Golden Rainbow. The uh, Live at Carnegie Hall series, uh, we're doing Stephen Hans uh, Sondheim, uh, uh, Ella Fitzgerald, and Frank Sinatra. All of those are tributes to those artists and the money raised on the Carnegie Hall series will go to Golden Rainbow, so you'll be helping out persons with AIDS. Oh. And tonight, you guys are in for a treat, like I said, uh, Mr. Roy Hamilton Jr. is paying a tribute to his father, and his wife of 35 years is right here, I'm going to introduce her, Maria Hamilton, please come up and take the stage. She's going to take over and uh, introduce her husband. Maria Hamilton. Roy and I are certainly so appreciative of it. We uh, started out to do this tribute. And, um, okay, sorry. I have a pretty big mouth, so. Roy and I have an understanding. Um, he sings and I speak. So I thought I was being heard. Anyway, um, when Roy and I decided to do this tribute for Dad, we had been trying to do it for a very long time. And so um, three years ago, we came back here to Las Vegas. And we knew this was the place, and we wanted to find a venue to do the tribute. And we found this wonderful place, you know, the Viva Las Vegas Event Center. And um, yes, we need to say thank you to the woman who is coming out to support us. Um, I just want to say that we have our family in the house. We have um, Ray Hamilton, who is Roy's uh, younger brother, his lovely wife, Miss Evelyn. Okay, and his sister Regina, and the two children, Anna, Lauren, and, and uh, we call him Bumpy. <laughs> okay, they came all the way from uh, Florida and Atlanta to be here with us today. And also, we just want to give a few acknowledgments. We have um, several people. Everybody's important to us. We thank all of you for coming. We thank our fame family. Can, can my fame family please stand up? My church, my fame church family is in the house. Our fame church family. Thank you so much. We love you guys. Thank you all for coming. We also have Mr. Phil Flowers is in the house. Thank you, Phil. Mr. Greg Austin from Motown and More is in the house. Miss Stephanie Lightbridge, she is also a church member, but she's in the house. Okay. The fabulous Miss Lisa Gay is in the house. Her husband is Mr. Tony Drake, he's a part of this uh, legacy orchestra that we have here tonight. Okay, we also have Mr. Ed Thomas is in the house. Mr. Frederick Westbrook, who was a childhood friend of, um, of Roy and Ray. They grew up together, their parents um, performed together and different things like that. And um, served everybody, like I said, is so important to us. We have um, Miss BG, uh, Rule is in, is in the house, and her husband is here. Uh, they came all the way from California. We have Mr. Gary Crown. He is um, from the Baby Boomer Radio Station, where we have a radio show that we do a tribute to Roy Hamilton. It's heard every um, Friday and Saturday night from 7 to 8 p.m. It's called, it, it's on. It's called the Golden Boy Hour, Roy Hamilton Remembered, and it can be uh, picked up on the internet all over the world. So again, I say just thank you to each and every one of you. If I forgot anyone, it's not from the heart, it's from the head, and just know all of you are so appreciated, and we thank you so much. 
So um, at this time, without further ado, we would like to introduce the um, Legacy Orchestra. Who's going to start off in that day. to you the 21st 
Century Golden Boy, Mr. Roy Hamilton Jr. folks. Let's give him a big round of Everybody, and I'm so glad to see each and every one of you here. This song was made famous by Louis Armstrong. Um, that's my version of it. When you're smiling, when you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. here in Las Vegas. How about it? This really is in the Hamilton Legacy Orchestra. Yeah. All right. This next song, there's a little story yeah, behind this song. Roy Hamilton was at Chicago Stadium in 1954. And uh, he, was, he intended to sing his song, You'll Never Walk Alone. Uh, on the bill was Sarah Vaughan, Nat King Cole, and Perry Como. Now all of a sudden, when it was all said and done, Perry Como got up on the stage and sang, you never walk alone. <laughs> and uh, to my father's surprise, he was like, uh, hmm, well, how about if I sing this next song, Ebb Tide? So, he got up and performed that time. And uh, when he was finished, 80 or 18,000 people stood up and gave him a standing ovation. And uh, Nat King Cole stated, a star was born. Later on that year, he recorded Ed Tide. See 
And the sea is very still once more. So I rush to your side like the oncoming tide. the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame since 1998. Since 1998, we have launched the campaign. It's a long time, but we're going to keep on trying until they acknowledge us and get them in there. Right. We have an online petition at RoyHamilton.net. We have a website, and uh, you can sign the online petition at RoyHamilton.net. We're so happy to have your support to try to get them in there. Now, Roy, Roy uh, also did You Never Walk Alone, Don't Let Go, Hurt. He also did um, uh, You Can Have a Ride on One Turn. And this next song here is a crossover between Big Band and Rock and Roll. Tell me how you like it. Big band swinging, hey yeah. 
Event Center. Of course, you know Mr. Woody Woods is going to be here tomorrow night as well. Tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon. One o'clock to four o'clock. So do a beeline and come back tomorrow and see him at the Thanks, folks. Yeah. How about a little bit of blues for you? Oh, yeah.
and arrange it. It's got an Edison right here. And it's a lovely mark, a lovely mark. It's like, here we go, here we go. All right. Okay. Now, I have a guest singer to come up and sing for a minute. Lovely Miss Lisa Gay. Tony Drake's beautiful wife. She's going to sing her beautiful song for you tonight. You look so lovely. Come on, man. Lisa Gay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Mr. Roy Hamilton Jr. Fantastic. Cold. No, I can't believe your heart is cold. Maybe something won from a long, lonely night. Start believing in you Never hold out her hands, alright Hey! Never touch you and watch What? There's one someone Who can look in her eyes and see Take it into your heart Never find you and watch Presentations. So hold on a minute. Don't go away. Uh, I'm Pat Warkey from Legend Gold Records and Lisa Sheraton. And we'd like to present Roy with his dad's gold records. Thank you. Of the record singles 45s. Uh, You'll never walk alone. Don't let go. F time. You can have her. <laughs> Unchained melody from Pat Warte and Lisa Sheraton of Legend Gold Records. <laughs> this is a surprise.
Fiji is also, uh, she's also written books, and um, they're going to be doing the movie, Sam Cooke. Oh. Yes, the real story. Okay? Yeah. Let me let the family hold on to this for a minute. <laughs> oh, isn't that beautiful? We're going to take a short pause and don't go away, wet your whistle. Be nice to the uh, bartenders and waitresses. And we'll be right back. So don't go away. We love you all so much. Thank you very much. Just a quick look. Thanks, everybody. If anybody remember Wild Man Steve, this is Mr. Westbrook here. Good to see you. Okay. Oh, Rita King is in the house. B.B. King's daughter, Rita King, is in the house. And uh, Z. Malushin from the, from the East James Hall of Fame, Fans Hall of Fame, is here also. Yeah, they are. Well, you know what? They had to stop for me because I, you know, I told them. So thank you so much. We'll be right back. Mark Richards, go, go, go. Are you ready for more entertainment with uh, Mr. Hamilton? All right, this young lady is going to say something, and here we go. Thank you, thank you. Let's give a big round of applause. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, we are about to start the second act of our show. Again, um, <laughs> we have a very special um, program for you right now. Um, direct your attention to the screen and I'm just going to give you a little um, background on uh, what it's all about. Um, on the screen you'll see um, this is Roy Hamilton, a couple of clips from him in, being in a movie called um, Let's Rock, um, the first uh, rock and roll movie that he was in. Um, right now there was a big connection between Roy Hamilton and Elvis. Elvis admired Roy Hamilton. He was a great fan of his. And there are several books written about Elvis that attest to this fact. And also in um, 1968, Elvis and Roy Hamilton were recording at the same time at a studio um, in Memphis. And Elvis asked to come to Roy Hamilton's session. Uh, um, Elvis was recording at night and Roy was recording during the day. So Elvis asked to come to Roy's session. He came in, and the, the books said that he stammered his admiration for Roy and gave him a song that was written for Elvis. And Elvis gave this song to Roy and said that he thought that Roy could sing the song better than him. And of course, that's just you know one of the things that you can find. You can, you can Google and find all this information. But right now, for the first time on any stage, we present to you Roy Hamilton and Elvis the King. Let's give them a big round of applause. Yes. 
We have some birthdays in the house. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a couple of birthdays here. Judy Clark, where are you? Judy Clark. Where are you, man? Wait so we can see you. All right, I'm going to give you a big old kiss. Oh, we love you, love you, love you. And where's Mildred? Mildred. Okay, we love you. We're going to sing happy birthday. Happy birthday.
Yeah. I'd like to let you know that there's a wedding shop right next door. And uh, Mr. Ron DeCar. Elvis and Mary are up right now. Mary right now. Right here. We're going to do a real about it. Still in the building. Still in the building. Right here. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's all right. Hey. No. All right. I like that. Oh, this is still good. Yeah. 
needed as well as beyond Las Vegas and this is our uh, this is what is going to be presented to our mobile Hall of Fame that we take around to different exhibitions and stuff like this and so and for the time we'll have it in back there for whoever wants, would like to see it right. thank you so much Z. she is wonderful and she has done that for all the musicians here and uh, singers in Las Vegas. Right. Hey. Thank you. All right. okay. See, she, she took it. <laughs> Just watch your step. Let me help you out there. There you go. Thank you so much. All right. Okay, how about this? Where were you when you first heard this song?
You know, there's not do a whole lot of talking, so don't worry about that. I just love singing. I've been singing since I was five years old. Just one little story for you before we go to the next song. My earliest recollection of a child, okay, being with my dad, we were at the World's Fair in 1950. No, 1950, no, I'm sorry, it wasn't 1960, 1964, that's what it was. I was there. I was born yet, I was born. <laughs> but I remember the observation towers, okay? And being a child, I was like five years old. Small new puppy, okay? And uh, you know, I had a, a, a interest, a fascination of going up this escalator. Of course, I think those escalators were just being introduced at the World's Fair as well. So I looked at the escalator, I said, hmm, this is very interesting. So I actually stepped on the escalator, five years old, I'm like, okay, this is neat, I'm going up, I'm going up. So I'm all happy, all of a sudden I, I looked and I'm like, getting higher and higher and higher, you know, five feet, 10 feet, 15 feet. And um, I started trying to go back down. Of course, my, my legs couldn't carry me because I was, you know, like this, and all of a sudden my dad looked over and he's like, oh, baby, the baby's going up the escalator. <laughs> so he runs up with his big, you know, six feet tall frame and runs up and grabs me and right back down the escalator. That was one of my earliest recollections of the child. You know? And um, even now today, I remember when we went up into the next building, I remember they had they had these phone booths. And the phone booths had wireless phones. Has anybody ever been to the World's Fair doing that thing? It's the best group. <laughs> well, that was, it was an amazing thing. And now, of course, the wireless phones are right in the palm of my hand. But uh, at, during that time, it was like the rave, you know what I mean? But uh, actually, Elvis Presley was also at the World's Fair at that time. And, uh, his album was named, uh, It Happened at the World's Fair. Yeah, I remember that. Well, anyway, that was a little story I wanted to let you all know about, you know what I mean? That was my earliest recollection. Also, I remember when we were in the Bahamas. That was in 1968 as well. I rang in the New Year with my dad. And we sang over the Saints Go Marching in. We're not going to sing that tonight, though. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that next time. But um, thank you all so much for coming out. We got like, look, a couple more songs we're gonna do. I love you all very much, and I really appreciate you all coming out here. Because you could have been any place in Las Vegas, but you chose here to be with us, and we really appreciate you. Thank you. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> when somebody loves you, it's for you, honest and true.
the same. But if you let me love you, it's for sure I'm gonna love you. in town. Now, it's true, I haven't known all these gentlemen for a long time. And then there's others I've known way too long. So, we're going to quickly go through this. So guys, if you remember your names, quickly, Doc B is Doc B? Yeah. Doc B is here. Tom Pastor. Alright. Tom. Tom Hall. Two times. Roger, Roger Hall. <laughs> Sid. I might have to get Tony Drake. <laughs> Ken Seifert. Ken Seifert. Watch your step now. Yeah. All Tesla. Got some insurance on this. Let's go. Tony Drake again. Tony Drake. Man, Bone 57. Come on, Say your name. Hey. Ralph Pressler. That wasn't good. That's Sheet. Bill King. Sheet. Herb Alpert. <laughs> Eric Sandy. Michael Ray. There you go. Woody Woods. One more, one more. Woody Woods. Get back over here. What do you got, Paul? What do you got, Paul? Okay. Yeah. Oh, Paul. Okay. We good? Finest musicians in Las Vegas. They make you sound good. I'm just trying. I'm just trying. I can't talk, but I can sing. <laughs> all right. This next song is what made it all possible. My dad's first biggest hit, and we started to do it last, 1954. Actually, let me just tell a little story about this one. Uh, he was from New York, New Jersey. Of course, he was born in Leesburg, Georgia. And uh, he came up to New Jersey to uh, pursue a singing career. And uh, he first became a boxer. And uh, he was a heavyweight champion for... Seventeen. And he had ten wins and only one loss. And it was because he uh, didn't really like the violence of the sport, he dropped it. But he continued the singing because it was in his heart and in his uh, spirit. And he had a very big heart and a very big spirit. So, in 19... 47, he entered a talent show at Harlem's Apollo Theater. Okay. And then he kept coming back a few times and he actually won the contest. So he continued on 
and he caught the, uh, the, the someone caught the attention, and it was Bill Cook that brought him to Epic Records. Epic Records is now Sony Music. Roy Hamilton made Epic Records, and I just wanted to let everyone know that that was the house that Roy Hamilton built. So Epic Records, which is now Sony Music, he was one of the first biggest million-seller artists. He also uh, signed with uh, RCA and MGM as well. Chips Mormons Studios uh, down in Memphis. That's where he met Elvis. We did have a slideshow up there. And uh, yeah, that's where it all happened. Some of the same musicians that recorded for my dad also recorded for Elvis and vice versa. And um, it was actually one of the biggest thrills that my dad had actually meeting Elvis come to the studio because he was such a big fan of my dad's. I emailed Lisa Marie Presley because I was hoping she would show up. So maybe one of these days, you know. But uh, it was nice to see Priscilla and Lisa Marie come walking through the door one day. I'm like, wow, I mean, because I'd really like to meet them. But thank you so much for coming out. I'm going to sing this song for you. And I think that's going to be it for the night. You'll never walk alone. When you walk through the storm, hold your head up high and don't be afraid.
Ain't gonna tell us it's done. Mr. Army Collier, the owner of this fine establishment. The Woody Wood Orchestra, ladies and gentlemen. Woody Wood Orchestra. Somebody said uh, they wanted me to sing another song. Please, please. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the Woody Woods Orchestra will be here tomorrow afternoon from 1 to 4 right here in the event center. So if you're not doing anything in the afternoon, come on out. Woody's got tons of music he's going to play. He's going to be here for three hours. Now, Callaway's Okay, song. this one. So we'll do this one song before y'all get too happy and leave. <laughs> the owner of the establishment requested another song. So I'm gonna do this one. This is dedicated to each and every one of you. I love you so much. And listen to the words. Hmm. Unforgettable.
Orchestra. Come back tomorrow, B9, in the woods. It's all for sure. One o'clock to four. And I'll see you guys next time. It'll be another time. All those that have VIP tickets, please stick around. We're going to get some pictures with Roy and you. I might, want my dad's records. And you might get a picture with Elvis if you're lucky. <laughs>